right. It may be 2019, but the tie-dye tie is coming back with a serious comeback. Oh, if you're one of many looking to tap into the trend without breaking the bank, we just know the place to start. Sure do. Ashley Williams live from Verge Center for the Arts in Sacramento. Hi there. Hi guys, good morning. Okay, so yes, tie-dye was popular back in the 60s and 70s, but here's what happened. We saw Beyonce wearing a tie-dye shirt one time, and then Justin Bieber, and then we started seeing it on the runways, and then every store started to sell tie-dye shirts and sweatshirts. The problem is, it's expensive. True story, I once saw one that retailed for over $600. What? And I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Girl I'll just bye. make my own, mm -hmm. obviously. So, Ver <laughs> girl, bye, girl, bye. So, <laughs> Verge Center for the Arts said, you know what? We used to teach tie dye classes. So, we wanted to show you at home exactly what to do step by step. So, in fact, you don't have to break the bank. This is Aida. Thank you so much for letting us come out this no, morning. Thank you for coming in. Of course. Okay. So, we literally have it like, I mean, step by step. So, why don't we start? So, we have a shirt that's here, but we're going to do something a bit more simple and work with napkins because. It's, it's easier to show the exact process. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's begin, shall yeah, we? Yeah, so the first step is actually to cover all your surfaces because the dye will stay in your hands and your clothes that you have on. So you have to wear gloves, put an apron on, and then um, put a clean surface. And then the second step is that you're gonna, uh, you're gonna dip your things on this thing that's called soda, ash, and water. And most of the tie-dye kits come with it. Okay. And then after it's been dipped for 20 minutes, then you have to like wring the water out as much as you can. Okay. And this is gonna help the dye um, adhere to the fabric. Um, and there's different ways that you can actually tie your uh, pieces in your t-shirts. And I have a few samples right here. I have three of them. This rule is the most common one, so that's the one okay. that I'm going to show everybody. But then these are really fun too. And then this one that just kind of looks like a braid is the yeah. one that we're seeing Ooh, in the t-shirt, right? Okay, so I can't wait to see this technique, guys. Watch carefully on what she's doing here. So we have about a minute to wrap this up. So I'm going to have you go ahead and start the process yeah. here. Yeah, so what you basically do is you just start twirling around. Okay. And once you have a pretty good like cinnamon bun looking thing, then you're gonna put some ties around it. And then I have some that are already finished like this. Okay. So let's start dyeing actually. All right. Um, I, I like the dyeing process. Okay. Yeah. So you get that one. Okay. You get this one, and you can pick you the colors. Any colors? Yeah. Okay. I'll go yeah. with yellow. I'd like to do at Oops, least three cool. colors. Oops. Okay. There's mm -hmm. a yellow. Mm -hmm. I'll take a green green. from you. Uh huh. Here's now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this. Okay, little this, and I also that. love the idea of the napkins because I'm thinking dinner party is gonna be a good time. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this up and then come back to me and I'll show you my final napkin, the final product. Okay, good. All right, guys, stay with this. this. We'll be right back. Little that, little not here, little like that. Just there.